What's up guys, I've got a quick video on the three available accessories for the IQ tile saw. The dustless, waterless IQ tile saw. We will show you what they are and what they're used for. They're out in the back, let's go take a look. So here we are guys, we will start with the least used attachment and move up to the most used attachment. We have a vacuum hose here with two attachments. We also have an attachment to miter tile at a 22 and a half and a 45 degree. Just like that. And we also have this attachment here, the large format extension table. I will show you how the miter attachment works with stacked stone. And of course, we will miter a porcelain tile as well. And I will show you how the large format extension table works with this very big, large four foot porcelain tile. So again, we will start with the least used attachment. This is a basically a shop vac hose that attaches to the dust extraction system. Let's show you how it works, how it attaches, and what the benefits are and why you need this for the IQ saw. Three quick things you need to do prior to installing this here. Raise the motor, remove the dust shroud, and pull the table back. And you quickly install like this. Now the reason this hose is useful, after cutting a handful of porcelain tiles or stone tile, you'll end up with chips and shards on the table here that need to be removed so that your tiles can lay flat on the rubber. Turn the saw on, you can not only, because of this long hose, suck up the debris on the sliding tray, but also the debris on the floor around the tile saw. Of course, you do have two available attachments that comes along with this hose system. Now, the second accessory is a miter attachment, a miter table here. We use this to miter our hard porcelain, your 12 by 24s, and we'll show you how it works. You simply install this on the sliding table. Now this miter attachment does include this here, sort of a vice grip to hold the tile in place, but after you get comfortable with mitering, you can simply freehand it without using this. We start with stacked stone. Just like that. Moving on to porcelain. Keep in mind it does take some practice, but nice, quick, and easy miter. Not as easy as a tilting motor head like a traditional wet saw. But again, no water, no fuss. Mitered porcelain. Now the third attachment and the most used is this, the large format extension table. Now you have a fence here that detaches, but also combos as a handle. Very easy install, it seats right on the sliding table.
just like that. We now cut this large four foot porcelain tile. One thing to keep in mind, this is a stationary extension table. You push your material through like a wood table saw. Absolutely, without a doubt. Much quicker and easier than using a grinder or a smaller wet tile saw. Absolutely clean cut, 30 second cut, four foot hard porcelain, the extension table. And there you have it, the three amazing attachments for the waterless, dustless IQ tile saw, the vacuum hose, the miter table as well as the large format extension table. Now the IQ saw is one amazing saw. It is dustless, it is waterless. Yes, it's much more expensive than your traditional 10 inch wet tile saw, but you quickly make that up with the time you save with not having to deal with water. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. As usual, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Give me a thumbs up and share the video if you know anybody who might find this useful. And I'll see you guys on the next one.